Welcome to our small seminar. We we are uh, back in Munich at my place, sitting in my home office, trying to help you to understand a little bit better what PATLAB 7 can do. So as I'm not exactly sure which software you have, I assume most of you are PATLAB users. I hope so. Otherwise, um, you need to become a PATLAB user because it's such a brilliant system. But I think this is now a little bit dedicated to PATLAB users. So I will not talk about general concepts for measuring putting and, and stuff like that. So we will talk about our software um, and the options in PATLAB 7, as I don't know on what level you are uh, with your software. I don't only um, talk about the differences between PATLAB 6 and 7, I also talk a little bit about the difference between PATLAB 5 to 6 and 7 also. So I show a little bit what PATLAB 7 software can do. And um, in particular, after going through the general function of PATLAB 7 as compared to previous versions, we will also look at the studio function, which is a little bit the future also of some PATLAB inside of a wider teaching coaching environment and about the apps which can be synchronized with PATLAB, which is very specific to PATLAB 7. If you have any specific questions with regards to the software and to updates, um, just write into the chat. If you, if you want to know more about the products, I think you will easily uh, receive some information on, on updates and options anyway. So um, this might be answered afterwards. So just starting maybe with a general idea behind PATLAB 6 and PATLAB 7 then. So we have already changed quite a bit from PATLAB 5 to PATLAB 6, which is making it much more easy to operate the software by offering you the um, options which you normally would use like measure, training, compare, fitting, gaming down here directly as buttons and then the report button is over here. And um, now in PATLAB 7, we have additional buttons up here, which are for synchronizing with a tablet, a iOS tablet, or with um, ball tracking, which can be activated, or the studio options, which I will, will explain afterwards. So from a general perspective, one of the big advantages of PATLAB 6 is not only that it's a little bit easier um, to be used from the general uh, operation of the software, we have redesigned the software with regards to reporting uh, from, the, from ground off. So we have um, introduced a completely different system to um, open up reports, which is one, having reports uh, in a perfectly adapted mode to a 16 by 9 screen, which fill the complete page, and which then also would appear as a PDF exactly in the same report, where for your customer, it would be much more nice to open up this report than um, at home on his computer. Um, what I want to show here is maybe one aspect, even if you use PATLAB Silk, you, you might not really have been using the, what we would say, report builder. You can create own reports or you can modify existing reports or you can add new reports by going through the report builder. So let's say um, this is uh, a report I wanna create from scratch. So I would say, well, I wanna have a two page report on let's say, impact and launch. And what do you want to see on the per first report? Maybe I want to see impact and I want to see impact spot and path at impact. Okay, impact spot, maybe on the left side. And then I want to see on the right side, path at impact. So this would be page one maybe. And then you add another page and you want to have a different design, like let's say one large on the left, which is launch. And on the right, I want to see 
shaft at impact or shaft at address. This one, then I want to have shaft at impact. Loops. I want to have maybe some new option like swing plane, tilt. I will talk about this later and maybe swing plane radius. which is here and you give it the name, whatever it is, let's say page two. And then you store it, give it again a name. This would be our test report. And then this report will appear in your list. You open it up for a specific data set and this is now your new report. So this is, extremely easy to design a specific report which you might give to your student. Let's say you have only an aiming report which you might to give you. The, so you might design different reports for different purpose which might be then uh, stored in this list and you just then create a PDF and send it out to your student. Very easy to do that. You can even replace single pages in existing reports. For example, if I go to creating a new report, but I then load an existing report, like for example, the extended report, I could, for example, say, well, in my extended report for launch, I want to see something different. I don't want to see this. I want to see something like this. And then inside of the extended report, you might say, okay, launch on the left, but on the right, I want to see whatever it is. And you save it. Give it a new name. That's my extended. And then you have my extended in the list. So that's very comfortable and I can just recommend to use this function. This is the report builder. And uh, you can also see all the available tiles down here in the demos if you have not yet seen that. For example, if you wanna see all the small tiles which are available, you go to demo. And then you can scroll through all the different tiles which are available for the existing data set. Yeah. Okay. So far for the report builder and the tiles, which is already introduced into PodLab 6, but I can just recommend to use that also. Uh, in seven, certainly you can also do the same. 